Hi, this is Lindsay, one of the co-hosts of Beauties and Headcanons. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. This is John Lauder, host of The Cheap Seats here on Public House Media. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, The Cheap Seats, where we talk about sports from the fans' perspective. A new show comes out every Monday. Don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of The Cheap Seats. Thanks again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. You'll never change your life until you change something you do daily. The secret of your success is found in your daily routine. And today here on Choose to Rise, here on Public House Media, we are going to be talking about the habits that you can do to prosper in your life. The things that are going to help you succeed, the things that are going to help you be your absolute best, to be help you be productive, help you prosper in where you're at. So thank you so much for joining me this morning, a little later than normal as just things have been happening in our world, but we are working along here. And so finding habits to do your best life, finding ways to be your absolute best self, to improve where you're at and learn and know that you're your only competition. You are the only one that can decide where you're going to go in life. You could, you're the only one that gets to choose what you're going to do with yourself and where you, how you're going to live in your purpose and what you're going to accomplish. So If you are the one that gets to decide that, then you're the one that gets to create the habits that help you get there. Habits are the pieces, the small daily decisions that you make every single day, thinking about them or not, that help you make what you want to happen in your life. They are the secret to your success. They're the things that get you where you want to go. And when you can automatically just do things, when you can make them a habit, when you don't have to think about them, that's where you really make sure that you are really moving in a direction that you want to go. That's where, you know, we are repeatedly, we are what we repeatedly do. So excellence is not an act, but a habit. It's what you do repeatedly that's going to have your action. What you think becomes your feelings. When your feelings becomes your actions, your actions become your habits. They become the things that you are, the people that you um, have created to yourself to be. And so what are some things that you can do to get better? Okay, let's get to the point here, right, Kim? What can you do to um, have positive habits? Well, the first thing you can do is network. Who you spend your most time with is the people that you're going to be the most like. So think about that. Where are you struggling in life? What is it that you want to change in your life? Who do you want to become? Start hanging out with the people that you want to be like. Start hanging out with the people that you have the habits that you want to have, and you will start to meld yourself into them. It's called social transition. And when you can put yourself in a situation where you are are like them um, or the, like the people that you want to be, that's where you start to have those situations. So when you like think about, I like the image that comes to my mind is a TV show where they like like you're you're on camera, the hidden camera, candid camera, I think it's called. And they did like these different social situations where like they would film somebody going into an elevator and all the people would like their actors, of course, and they would turn around and face the, the wrong direction, the back of the elevator. And then the person would be like, well, well, what's going on? And then pretty soon they would turn because that's what everyone else is doing. You are the people that you hang out with most. So it's funny that somebody turns around like that and does the gives into the social pressure of somebody in an elevator. But when you really think about it, that's how we live our entire life. So get around people that are going to be like the people that you want to, the person that you want to be. So network, be a part of a community, be a part of a crew, be a part of a group that is dreaming big, that is planning ahead, that's getting up early, that's staying focused, that's doing the things that you want to be doing in life to get yourself where you want to go. Another thing is really being a a parent of where you're spending your time, watching less TV, investing in yourself uh, with mental transition with um, making sure that you're getting good, reading good books, that you're avoiding those time wasters, that you're taking calculated risks, that you're writing down your goals. How are you spending your time? Time is the most precious thing that we have. It is the most calculated and, and underused resource that we have available to us. Oftentimes we say, I don't have time. I don't have time. But guess what? We all have the same amount of time. It's how we prioritize that time in where we and how we invest that time into making sure it's getting us to where we want to go or not. If we're watching 30 minutes of TV a day or two hours of TV a day, 
that's time wasted. It may help you de-stress. And I, I'm not saying that I never watch TV because I definitely sit down for a good show every once in a while, but I spend way less time watching TV and more time investing in myself, more time getting into personal development, more time spending calculated and focused time in my business spend more time interacting with my kids. I spend more time doing things that are going to help me get to the goals that I want to get to. And speaking of goals, write down your goals. Live, live in a focused world where you have great clarity and where it is that you want to go. Writing those goals down, reading them over and over again, speaking them out loud, talking about in them in the present tense, going forward in a way that's going to help you um, not only create those habits of positive mindset, but help you create that what you want to have happen in the now so that it will happen for you in the future living less on than you make, making your health a priority, do work that matters to you, learn from people you admire, foster meaningful relationships. All of these things are going to help you get to where you want to go. And they take daily decisions. They take daily focus. They take cultivating an attitude of gratitude, making sure that you are taking action, even when it's scary, even when you think that this may not be for me because there's a little bit of fear there. But guess what? The fear is what makes it exciting. The fear is what makes it exhilarating. The fear is a little bit of an indicator that you should be doing it anyway. It's getting a little bit outside your comfort zone and we always grow when we get outside of our comfort zone. Having a powerful and inspiring why is definitely another habit that you need to be focusing on. So focus in on the good. Focus in on what you want. Get really clear on that. Surround yourself with people that are going to help you be your absolute best learn from the people you admire, dig into personal development, find time and ways to get into your goals and be more intentional with your time and really focusing on dreaming big, planning ahead, getting ahead of your time, using your time wisely. All of these things are going to help you be your absolute best, help you maximize who you want to be in this life, give your life here some purpose. And so you can go out and serve others, be the best that you can possibly be and go out and, and just live a full and amazing life. So that's how you, um, that's, those are some habits that you can create for, to live to prosper in this world. I want to help you to know else today by um, encouraging you to sign up for the positive power of positive summit by John Gordon. You can go ahead over to, to power of positive summit on, on the website. And if you're listening to this later in recording right now, I'm, I'm recording this at the end of April of 2019 and it's happening right now from April 22nd to April 29th. But John Gordon does this amazing thing every single year where he, curates all kinds of amazing speakers and amazing mentors of mine um, that he pulls them all together and he has these motivational and inspirational and thought provoking videos. And he puts them all together on a website, Power Positive Summit. And you can go there and you can subscribe. You'll have access to all of the, the videos for each day and they get sent to your email and you'll be able to interact with them for a short period of time here. So if the time is kind of the essence, if you're listening to this much later, um, it's over, but know that it happens every end of April, every single year. So plug into that. I can't wait to hear what you think about it and what you love about it. I'm just telling everyone about it because it is so, so powerful. So if you want to prosper in life, network, dream big, plan ahead, get up early, stay focused, watch less TV, invest in yourself, read more books, avoid time wasters, take calculated risks, write down your goals, get super clear on them live on less than you make, make your health a priority, do work that matters to you, learn from people that you admire, foster meaningful relationships, cultivate an attitude of gratitude, take action, even when it's scary, because it will always help you grow and have a powerful and inspiring why. I hope that you have loved something that I've shared today, that you are encouraged, that you feel supported, and that you come back again. We are um, here to help you rise up out of your current situation and live your absolute best life. So if you want to connect with me more, head over to choose to rise up.com. There you will be able to find all the past episodes of choose to rise. You'll also be able to connect with me learn more about my story, learn about more about how we can maybe work together soon. And, uh, you know, if you love this, share it, tell someone else about it. Thank you so much Beth, for joining this morning. And I hope to see you all back here very soon.